From an original purchase of 130 acres in 1987, Center Ranch has grown into a multifaceted commercial cow-calf, performance horse, and hay operation spanning over 8,700 acres in Leon County. The ranch consists of eight properties spread throughout the county and are identified as Headquarters, Mill Creek, The Bull Pens, Keechai Creek, The Trinity River Division, The River Bottom or Stanmire Place, The Coker Place, and Buffalo Creek. Headquarters is located at the intersection of State Highway 7 and FM 811. The operational hub of the ranch, it houses the offices and coffee room where some employees meet in the early morning for the day's assignments. It also includes all of the horse operations and the veterinary facilities. Headquarters consists of approximately 1,500 acres accumulated over time via 33 separate purchases ranging from 1 to 278 acres. About 1,000 of these acres are devoted to the cattle and hay, while the remaining 500 acres are reserved for the horse operation and veterinary facilities. The headquarters office is the administrative home to Finus Welch, General Manager Jay Dixon, and their clerical staff. While Jay is found overseeing any number of activities around the ranch, his day starts here, where he delegates tasks to some of his ranch hands. His managerial responsibilities include securing bids for feeds, fertilizers, equipment, and buildings, as well as supervising progress on all construction projects. He is also directly in charge of forage and cow-calf operations, while other components of the ranch are supervised by an area manager under Jay's general direction. Headquarters and all outlying properties include about 1,800 mama cows, half of them with young calves at side, 500 replacement heifers, and 110 bulls. Calving at the ranch is during the fall and spring seasons. The ranch has just completed its spring calving season. The hay season runs from fertilization in early April to the last cutting in early November. Winter forages for the late winter and early spring grazing are either planted or overseeded during late fall to early November. Headquarters serves a number of other functions as well. It houses the shop and the feed mill. The feed mill consists of a large grinder for chopping hay into six to eight inch lengths, along with bins holding 18 wheeler loads of grains and horse rations. It is the place where feed rations, including hay or silage, are loaded into trucks for mixing and delivery to feed bunks for cattle. During the winter, when pastures are inadequate, the ranch has two trucks running all day to all places occupied by cattle, that is, all properties other than the Coker Place. The feed mill also houses pelletized horse feed that is pre-mixed along with alfalfa cubes, both purchased in bulk. Horses are fed a balanced ration of pellets along with alfalfa cubes and Bermuda hay. The shop, used for housing and repairing equipment, is also located at headquarters near the feed mill, as are several large barns for holding hay. To the east side of headquarters, there is the adjacent Mill Creek property. It's approximately 1,000 acres and accessed either from State Highway 7 or via headquarters via service roads. Because of its proximity to headquarters, it's not leased for hunting. Most of it is wooded, However, about 200 acres are cleared, and we use this cleared land as pasture for replacement heifers. Center Ranch's bullpens consist of 48 acres, located two and a half miles south of headquarters on FM 811. Our policy is to sell weaned calves as quickly as possible. Sometimes the calves are shipped from the locations where they're weaned. If not, along with the heifers intended as replacements, they are moved to the bullpens for settling. Settling refers primarily to getting the recently weaned calves used to eating feed and hay without nursing. It also refers to vaccinating for customary diseases. The recently weaned calves are susceptible to respiratory infections, so during the settling period, they are watched closely and treated as necessary. The bullpens also serve as a receiving location for calves consigned to the ranch to be used in the training of cutting horses. 
calves brought on consignment are much more susceptible to respiratory problems than those raised at the ranch. Settling takes about two weeks. The training program requires a new set of 75 heifers, a double-decker load, every two weeks. As a load arrives, it is weighed and weighed again as it leaves. The ranch is paid on the weight gain, which usually does not cover its full costs. Once the consigned heifers are finished at the training facility, they are returned to the bullpens for feeding, so that they will have been at the ranch approximately six weeks before being returned to the consigner. The bullpens consist of 36 pens for feeding and settling cattle. It also houses a laboratory, a full set of working pens that include digital scales, loading chutes, and a hydraulic squeeze chute. Kichai Creek sits on 760 acres and is located 10 miles south of headquarters, also on FM 811. This property includes a 15-acre frontage, a 45-acre meadow, formerly used for hay, and the remaining land divided into eight pastures. This property is long and narrow with a two-mile service road that makes feeding possible through troughs arranged roadside. The task of feeding hundreds of cattle on a property like this is accomplished with one driver, whose truck augurs the feed into the roadside bunks. The division has a typical and complete set of working pens for a cow-calf operation. There is a six-acre fenced area in one of the pastures. Here an oil pad has been constructed and is currently under lease. A water tank is located adjacent to the pad where the water can be sold for the purpose of shale fracking. At the far end of the service road, there are 150 acres of pine trees that will soon be ready for their third or pole cut, the final cut before replanting. As is true of the other outlying areas, the Kichai Creek Division is leased for hunting. Center Ranch maintains 100% of the mineral rights to the Kichai Creek property. The Trinity River Division is located 13 miles east of headquarters with access on State Highway 7. It borders the Trinity River and it is used exclusively as part of the cow-calf operation. It has a full set of working pens and closer to the highway has a set of catch pens for loading and receiving cattle. There is also a large barn and equipment shed that houses the ranch's largest tractor. Approximately 660 acres near Highway 7 are treated as farmland with two forage crops, summer hay, and cover crops for the late winter and spring grazing. The Trinity River Division has, for several years, been leased to a single hunter who has the property enrolled in the Bush Slaw Co-op Game Management Program. This program is developed in conjunction with the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department and is operated by a group of private citizens who manage the properties for the benefit of wildlife. The Stanmire Division is comprised of 1,200 acres 17 miles from headquarters. Its six pastures are exclusively devoted to the cow-calf operation and are also leased for hunting. Stan Meyer has a full set of working pens. Here you can see Jay and the ranch hands weaning calves, an activity that is performed twice a year, once for each of the calving seasons. The weaning of calves requires the separation of the calf from its lactating mother at an age of seven to eight months. The working pens are used to separate the calves and to load them onto the trucks for delivery to their purchaser or to the bull pens. With the exception of the higher quality replacement heifers, all weaned calves are sold as soon as possible. Located on FM 3178, 12 miles from headquarters, the 320 acre Coker Place is held as an investment property. It's leased annually for hunting deer, waterfowl, and hogs. Beginning this summer, we'll use the Coker Place to quarantine newly purchased recipient mares. The Buffalo Creek Division is located 20 miles from headquarters along winding, unpaved County Road 279. It's a large property of about 1,300 acres that are divided by the creek. The 380 acres north of Buffalo Creek are used exclusively for hunting and include a small camphouse for hunters. It also has 15 to 20 acres of marshland that can be filled from Alligator Creek for duck hunting. The remaining 900 acres on the south side of Buffalo Creek are used as pasture with some seasonal cover crops as part of the cow-calf operation. This winter, the ranch planted 100 acres of oats and 160 acres of ryegrass within the Buffalo Creek's 15 pastures. The property includes a full set of working pens, like Kichai, 
the Trinity River Division, and Stanmire Place, the south side of Buffalo Creek is used exclusively as part of our cow-calf operation and is also leased for hunting. Back at headquarters, the Center Ranch horse operation occupies pastures on both sides of FM 811. There are approximately 300 acres on the east side that include Center Veterinarian Reproduction Services, or CVRS, stallion barns, and the equine breeding facilities, along with pastures for the mares and their babies. On the west side of FM 811, there are pastures for yearling horses, along with the finishing and training facilities. The CVRS facility provides Center Ranch, as well as outside clients, a number of equine and bovine services, including internal medicine, general medicine, lameness evaluation, conditioning, and rehabilitation, along with preventative care as well as limited surgeries. Dr. Jason Walter joined the clinic staff in 2012 and directs the clinic with his experience with equine reproduction and health. Adjacent to CVRS are stallion barns as well as a stallion collection facility for collecting semen used in artificial insemination. Center Ranch's senior stallion, Woody B. Tuff, is a 13-year-old sorrel stallion who won more than $360,000 during his performance career. He stands at CVRS where he's bred to Center Ranch-owned mares, as well as being actively marketed to outside clients. His first Center Ranch fall crop continues to be shown and currently has prize winnings in excess of half a million dollars. His 2012 outside breedings garnered $160,000 in semen fees, with prices set at $2,000. His breeding fee for the current season is $5,000 with discounts for multiple mares and for proven mares. CVRS has recently been certified by the U.S. Department of Agriculture to export frozen semen to Australia and Brazil. CVRS also includes a small animal clinic to serve the needs of the rural area including and surrounding Centerville. Dr. Lisa Van Reenen manages the small animal side of the clinic where a variety of veterinary services are provided, along with boarding and grooming of cats and dogs. While Jay Dixon, as general manager, has the responsibility of overseeing all ranch operations, most of the day-to-day -day activities for the horse operation are ceded to others. Breeding is the joint responsibility of our stallion manager, Del Bradshaw, and our senior veterinarian, Jason Walter. Unlike cattle, where breeding occurs in the pasture via live cover, the breeding of horses at Santa Ranch is exclusively done by artificial insemination. Semen is either collected from ranch stallions or shipped from outside stallions. On rare occasions, the ranch's mares are taken to other facilities for breeding when the sire semen is inferior for shipment or is either too valuable or too scarce to be shipped. Once a pregnancy is determined, the developing embryo is transferred from the donor to a recipient mare. Once the pregnancy of the recipient is established, she is turned out to pasture until the following year when her foal is born. Because nursing or wet mares can be bred for the next year's foal crop, the majority of the pregnant recipients will also have a young foal at side. Foaling is also the joint responsibility of Dell and Jason, who monitor the health of the young horses. As foals are weaned, they are moved into stalls and halter broken by Dell and his staff. The halter broken foals are then turned out into small pastures. Once the weaned foals become yearlings, that is January 1st of the year following their birth, they are transferred to the west side of FM at 11, where they are sex segregated into colt and billy pastures. The yearlings are allowed to grow and develop for a full year, during which their health and conditioning is closely monitored on a daily basis by Del Bradshaw and his staff, and on a monthly basis, or as needed, by Jason Walter. As the yearlings become two years old, they're first saddle broken and tied for long periods each day. There they're broken to ride and training begins. At this point and throughout their second year, they will be separated into those showing potential as performance horses and those better suited to ranch work. Charles Dorsey heads the trainers of the two-year-old horses with Bedar Van Reenen and Tanner Baker training alongside. The two-year-old horses are divided among the three trainers and each trainer assumes primary responsibility for his horse's development. However, as the year progresses, Dorsey will take over those horses seen as having cutting potential, but are unlikely to become outstanding performers. 
These horses will be sold during their second year at performance horse sales. At these sales, the horses are shown working cattle with Dorsey in the saddle. The second year's culling will have narrowed the full crop to a point where those that remain are believed to have outstanding potential. Training of the three-year-olds and older horses is either by our resident trainers Ronnie Rice and Taryn Rice or by outside trainers such as Ronnie's nephew and Taryn's father Boyd Rice. Throughout the development process, the horses are ridden and or exercised daily on walkers as well as evaluated constantly for soundness and general health. It's our hope that this presentation highlights the many dimensions of Center Ranch. It's a working ranch. It's not fancy, but we think we get the job done.